Gunnar, let's start with you. Coach mm -hmm. talked about the challenge. You've been here before. You know how difficult this place is. Talk about, first off, mentally the challenge where Coach was about bring your own juice all week. You knew there wouldn't be a lot of people here, and it was more about playing to Troy football standards entering this game. Yeah, I mean, it's tough coming into a place like this with not a lot of fans. I mean, it's really us versus them. The fans are not really a factor, so we had to bring our own juice. And you got to be you got to be mentally prepared for that all week, and we prepared for that all week, so we knew what we were getting ourselves hey, into. Hey, hey, it was a good opportunity today, too. Vic, Vic Coney, very familiar with Troy, had been the past defense coordinator a couple of times. Opened up the passing game a lot today for you guys and your fellow tight ends to have a chance to make some passes and catches downfield and to move the ball. Yeah, it was awesome. Craddock uh, was able to dial it up for us, give us an opportunity to make plays. And QB does a good job. He's been on fire all year. So uh, we're just trying to keep this thing rolling. And Gunner, it seems like week after week now, you're, you're, uh, the offense has been so efficient. You're really forcing opposing defense to really pick their poison. They come into the game. Talk about the adjustments you had to see early because it's really a chess match of what they're going to try to stop first before you can really get in sync and rhythm offensively. Yeah, I think we kind of knew what they were going to do the first play. I mean, the first play they come in, load the box, and play man against us. And uh, we really didn't think that's what they would do. And, um, you know, we adjusted and we, we started throwing a little bit more. And our guys were doing a great job winning against man. And um, I think receivers and the tight ends played a great game all night. And Clayton, the challenge for Coach Summerall is, is take the scoreboard off. You know at the end of the 60 minutes, of course, a result has to go in the win or loss column, but it's about the choice standard, playing to the football that has been set by this program over the last two years. Talk about now taking the win away. You're 8-2. One more home regular season game left next week, Louisiana. How does this team stay focused and mentally prepare for the game next week? It's, it's a tough long stretch here in the season. No, uh, like we've been talking, even from the uh, off season, is just one game at a time. Like you said, we'll take the win, but it, at the same time, we, we want to put some some good stuff on film and just get the momentum rolling and playing some good football. Which, I mean, I think we've been playing some really good football, but it's just you're never happy. It's always the the bad plays that kind of stick in your head. So we're just trying to clean it up and play to our standard. Hey guys, congratulations on the victory. Thanks for joining yes, us. We'll let you get ready and enjoy the seven hour, unfortunate seven hour bus yep. trip back yep. to Troy. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. They actually credit Javon with you four sacks, Richard three and a half. I mean, he got yeah, you by yeah, half. But yeah. let's just talk together. Seven and a half sacks on the day. How big was that to really put some pressure? You knew that was a challenge um, yes, from Coach Gass today to really put some pressure on the quarterback. Yes, sir. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to thank God for the opportunity just to go yeah. out there and perform on that level. You know, glory to God for that. And, you know, you know, Coach G, they've really been putting, like, an emphasis on getting to the quarterback. So to be able to do that today for the defense, for the team, was just an opportunity that, that we were all waiting for, you know. Ask Clayton and Gunner, Richard, about the challenge of coming to a place like this, where you know it's not going to be a big crowd. It's just a lot, a lot of the environment you're going to have to create yourself. Talk about mentally that challenge coming to this game today. I mean, coming to this game, we already know how the atmosphere and the environment was going to be. To us, it wasn't about them. You know, it was about us. So we didn't yep. care about the environment. We all got goals for ourselves and us individuals and as a team. And these guys are not part of it. That's not our end goal, you know. So mentally, we're like, oh, we got to be what we want ourselves. And we we're really impressed by the fans that really came out here for us. Big, you know, families came out. We had some people came down. So mentally, the whole season, the whole week, we're preparing for us and you know by ourselves. We're not really thinking about the atmosphere. It was just on us how we could get better and just keep going. Javon, as Richard just alluded to, it's um. It's just the next victory that gets you towards one of the goals. Yes, next week, big challenge, Louisiana coming to town. But a guy named Larry Blake. I mean, I think his name's on the field, right? Yeah, legendary yes, coach of the Trojans, an opportunity for the last regular season home game, but a chance to honor one of the legends of Troy football. How big is that going to be next week to have an opportunity in that game? Huge. That is, like, especially a person like him with his status at Troy and uh, the weight his name holds here. Um, it's going to be great opportunities to perform in front of him. And, um, you know, we're, of course, go somewhere else. He's going to have a well prepared um, just to step to the challenge of a, of a good team coming in. So we're just going to go in there, execute, do what we do. We're going to try to, we're going to try to, you know, create, create schemes where we can just go out there and perform like we just did today. So we're just going to be able to stick together as brothers of the team and just keep stacking, stacking our pennies. Richard, there's only so much that coaches can do for you. They can't go out there and play for you. There's so much you have to do as a player on your own, off the field, extra film study. Yes, sir. I and mean, being prepared for the game. Now, where you are, you're defending some of conference champs. Yes, sir. You're eight and two on the season right now. You know you're going to get the best shot, no matter who you play. Record, you're going to get their best shot. What's that challenge like? I mean, first coming into the season, we already know. You know, like for example, last season going into the season, everybody wrote us off. So coming in was like we're about to beat Troy, about to beat Troy. Yep. So everybody 
took us as an underdog and we had to surprise people. You know, as Vaughn said earlier, Chris Summer has really turned the program around, you know, brought a lot of a different mentality to us players and we really bought into it. And we just have a bunch of individuals who really want to win and who love each other. That's one of the biggest things. And so I know everybody will really buy into the challenge and get it ready. So right now, you know, everybody got the target on our back. We know anybody who's coming in, we're expecting the best because yeah, it's Troy football. They know how this thing we are right now and how hard working we go. We play to the fourth quarter. So that's the same mentality we had coming to the season is the same thing that we still have right now, which is hey, we're getting the best shot from anybody. And weekly we have to watch film, put in extra work. Apart from what the schedule say, it, like I said earlier, we have individuals who want to who wanna win, who want to get better every week. So we just got to stick to the plan and there's always room for improvement. So we we'll always improve, add five, 10 more, 15 minutes, you know, and just get better each week. Guys, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the victory. It's fun to watch you today. Hey, yes, sir. Let's go back and go win or no next Absolute, week at home. Absolutely. God bless. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.